And look at that. It needs a couple more treatments, but look how white we got it today. One of the things that I do every year is I need to get his tail clean. And so since this is his first bath, we're gonna go through a whole process on how I get his tail white. So before we start, let's have a look at what it looks like. So his tail's not too bad this year, but as you can see, it's actually quite yellow and kind of yucky. And so what I wanna do is get this nice and white, and if we can start the season off with it nice and white, we'll have a good base to work from. This is probably gonna seem like it is such a big process and I'm over the top, but like I said, this is his first bath of the season and I wanna get a good base on this tail. I have picked out little bits and pieces from different people's methods and combined them together to make my own. So the first thing we're gonna do is start with a deep cleaning treatment to his tail with a regular old household cleaner that I think a lot of us have. It's goop, <laughs> really. Um, but the key here is not to get this on his skin or his bone, just on the hair. I'm just going on the yellow part. So, um, Scooto, what are you doing? So if you just come along with me, I'm gonna put this on his tail and we're gonna let it soak for 20 minutes. His bone comes down here. You can see where my hand is. I absolutely wanna keep the goop below that. So I'm just going to slather it on right now. And we do it dry. We're just gonna let it soak. And I'm really getting it where it's yellow, the most yellow. And I'm keeping it off his body and off his skin. And I have not touched his bone. I have not touched the skin. And we're gonna keep it here for 20 minutes. And I'm gonna stay with him so that he doesn't uh, make a big mess of it. So this tail has been sitting in goop and I'm keeping the goop on and I'm covering it in Dawn, okay? And we're gonna rub that in. Again, I'm not touching his bone or his skin. And I can already see it's starting to get a little blonder, a little more ashy from the yellow. And, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tie his tail back up again and I'm gonna clean the rest of them. So this has been soaking for a bit now, so I'm gonna rinse this off and then we'll start part two of this. So the next step is I'm going to mix some purple shampoo with baking soda and I'm gonna put that on his tail and rub it in and then I'm going to, in my um, spray gun, I'm gonna put a bit of vinegar and rinse it off. Well, I've done all the steps on his tail, and so now I wanna condition it. And I'm gonna use, it's a human grade stuff, but I saw a content creator do this who's actually a hairstylist, and it's um, L'Oreal Elvive. And I'm just gonna put it on his tail, and I'm gonna leave it there and let it dry. And I'm just gonna rub it in and let it sit there, kind of like leave-in conditioner. And I wanna comb it through so that I can just get all the knots out, and then I'm just gonna leave this conditioner in. So we'll do this for now. He's obviously had enough, so. I'm just gonna go as little as possible and do the rest later. And I can see how some of his strands are coming out really white. I'm probably gonna have to do this a few times. All of that's done. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave him with that conditioner on his tail. We'll come back in maybe a little bit when it's dry and you can see the difference. And look at that. It needs a couple more treatments, but look how white we got it today. 